If you were with us on our last video, you would remember that Cindy, the homeowner, and her sister was downstairs in the master bedroom doing their investigation. When we left the last video, Cindy started using the spirit box to see if she could get any responses from the entities present. Down. Did you hear drunk? I heard drunk. Yeah. Are you drunk? Back in the ceiling fan. Hi, you're back. Tell us your name, please. We now join Cindy and her investigation in progress. Is that you hanging around? <laughs> Charles, is that you that's here with us? How many spirits are in this room? Why are you here? Hi. Thank you. That lit up right after the K2 lit up. Are you being held here? You want to play with our toys again? I know I'm not supposed to call them toys. That's a REM pod. The one with the red light. Lots of other colors when you get near it. Come communicate with us. Tell us what you need. Do you need help? <laughs> that didn't light up until you said your brother-in-law's name? Charles. Charles, is that you? No. What about Thank you. Hello. Yep. They both died within days of each other. No. Times is my papa was their dad. Papa, is that you? Are you watching over me? Oh. That's what? I said maybe it's in that object. Don't whisper. Are you here watching over the family? Are you the one hanging around outside? That one's lit up again. 
Come on, come back close to that. Not bad. Nope. Where'd you go? Come talk to us. They just want to know um, who you are and why you're hanging around. Do you know anyone that lives in this house? Did you make Debbie sick when she lived here? Do you know Nick? Back at the wardrobe. Do you need some help? Can we help you? I know. Let's try this. Can you answer this knock? Can you hear it? Can you hear the two taps? I heard something, but I, didn't, I couldn't tell. Those over there. On this wall in between me and Joey. You tap the wardrobe twice. Oh, well, oh, okay. I'm going to do it again and you do this two times. <sighs> you just look like you tapped the wardrobe twice. Really? Yep. <laughs> cool. cool. Maybe we got it on the recorder then. Thank you. Can you whistle? Let us know where you're at in the room. Still by the wardrobe? Yes, ma'am. Can you come over here and give me five? Come touch my hand. See, that won't hurt you. It's just loud. It's got pretty lights, though. Can you come give me five? Coming this way? No. What about me? Can you give me five? Yeah. Get back up. Give Missy five. Still hanging out by the wardrobe? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid? Don't be afraid. I can tell you're nice, but you... Do you even know where you're at? Have you been here a long time? <coughs> Gone. gone and that goes off. Thank you. What does it mean? <laughs> it's been here a long time. Yeah. Did you live here? Are you the one that makes the door alarms go on and off? I really don't like you to do that. It makes me think someone's coming in the house. Are you trying to scare me? <laughs> Why? Why would you scare her? Are you mean? Do you run up and down the stairs? We're going to go back to the ghost box and uh, see if we can get some kind of responses from you. 
Try to speak as loudly as you can and maybe we can hear you. You still here with us? Tell us your name, please. Can you tell us your name through here? Is Charles hanging around? We're about to leave, so can you tell us bye? You can turn on the... Let's see. How many times do we want you to flash? Tell us bye. You make that flash or go up to red or something. Tell us bye. Or that. Make it go off. <laughs> Thank you. Are you messing with my DVD? box over there making the orange light come on Why and off. It is come on, it sure do. Are you trying to turn the T V on? It went off. What do you want from Melody? Well thank you. We appreciate what responses we did get. You gonna hang around for a while? I turned the blue light off on my DVD. Thing. Sure did. <laughs> it went off. It went off. Turned it off. Why are you messing with that? Turn the TV on if you want to watch it. You're gonna have to push the button again on the DVD player. I mean the Wow. <laughs> All right, bye. 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 When you're looking for the one store you can trust to have the exact battery you need right when you need it, whether it's for your car, riding mower, motorcycle, laptop, smartphone, watch, plus light bulbs for lamps, floodlights, can lights, appliances, all topped off by helpful experts, it's easy to see why nobody else stacks up to batteries plus bulbs. Did I mention we also repair smartphones? Batteries plus bulbs. Trust the plus. So we're getting ready to start an EVP session. We are up in Dylan's old bedroom. This is the bedroom that I, when I came through earlier, I felt had the most activity and he has verified that he has had a lot of things happen in this room. So we're gonna try a session here and see what we can pick up. With me in the room is Becky um, and we've got Debbie. Debbie and Dylan, who, who are the homeowners, as well as Mike and uh, Joey. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Over here we have a couple devices that you can use to let us know that you're here. The red round device, if you come close to it, you'll see there's an antenna on there. Just come close to the antenna and it will light up the lights and we will know that you're here. 
We also have what's called a K2 meter. That's the device with the green light. If you come close to that, it will flash, and that will let us know that you're here. And if you just feel like talking, there is a recorder over here by me with a red light, and you can speak directly into that. So is there anyone in this room that would like to speak with us? No. Okay, thank you. Okay, to the Oops. entity that just uh, lit up the rim pod, the red device, I asked if you were a female and you did not respond. Does, 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 oh, you are a female. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Are you the, the female that was in the other bedroom at the far end of the house earlier today when I was here? Okay, thank you. You can turn it off now. Thank you. Are you seeing anything on that stick figure? No. Nothing. Nothing. Can you tell us why you're here, please? You can speak to this recorder over here. Are you alone? Are there others with you? Do you know who the dark figure was that Dylan used to see? Okay. Thank you. Is that dark figure in the room with us now? Has it moved to another place? Is it still here somewhere? Are you afraid of him? Thank you. So you're afraid of the dark figure? I feel that he's a that that you're afraid. Are you afraid of him? Is this where the dark figure likes to hang out, in this room? Ooh, did you hear that? Or does he hang out in all areas of the house? Is the dark figure male? Okay. Thank you. Does he still come see me? Does that dark figure ever leave this house? Do you make the alarms go off? Thank you. You notice how that's going off and the K2 is not being affected? Yeah. Is the dark figure mean? Is the dark figure human? Or is it something else? Does he control this house? Did he make my arm burn earlier? Are you the woman who stands at the top of the stairs? Please talk to us. We need answers for this family. Can you let me know that you're still here? Is there someone else in this room? Do you watch people as they sleep? Does the dark figure still live here?
Have you seen all the people outside? Have you seen the dark creature that walks on the floor? Okay. Thank you. Is it something the family needs to be worried about? Do you talk to the older woman that stays in the kitchen? Like a laugh or a whisper or something. I heard it too. So there's a mattress in the closet mm -hmm. or attic. Mm -hmm. Do you know who the mattress belongs to that's in the attic? Yeah. Did something bad happen in the closet, in the attic? Outside this earlier, is going off. Yeah. outside earlier, I heard some people talking about a person named James. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So Did, you Go ahead. So you know James? Were you outside with those people as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they come in the house. Thank you. Was James a nice guy? Thank you. You can turn it off now, thank you. Is James here with us too? Did he do something to make you angry? Did James own this land? Are you the person who likes to push people on the stairs? Ooh. Thank you. Can you tell us why you like to push people? Are you trying to keep them from coming upstairs? Ooh. Ooh, I got chills. Thank you. Is it to protect us? Oh, good question. Ooh, now I got lots of chills. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So you're here to to help this family from the, the dark Okay, there you go. Thank you. Are you scared of the shadow? Thank you. You can turn it off. Thank you. So are you and the other woman trying to help this family?
is the dark shadow's name James. Do you protect everyone? Is there anybody else in this room that would like to speak to us? We only have a few minutes left. Here, I turn that toward me. You seeing anything? Mm -hmm. Nothing. You see me as a stick figure? No. Nope. Oh. I see Becky and Elizabeth. Because they got real cold by me. Really? Do you guys have any final questions that you want to ask? It maps out you, but nothing else with you. Has the shadow mentioned holding me down on the bed? Are you still in here? Your uh, K2 Becky's going off. It may be the phone. Yeah. And you don't need to be afraid of this family. They just want to, to live in peace in this home. Can you do that with them? Can you leave them alone or protect them or whatever it is you're doing, but try not to scare them? Thank you. I'm sure they appreciate that. Is that you, Joy? Mm -mm. Did you hear it? Mm -mm. Anybody hear that? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I don't. Sound like a growl, grunt, or whatever. Mm -hmm. All right, well, we're going to say goodbye now. Can you light the round device up one last time to say goodbye to us? You want us to leave? All right, so we're going to wrap it up. Um, and uh, now we're going to review the, our EVPs and uh, be sharing with you shortly what we found. Thank you. Are you experiencing any unexplainable noises or activity in your home or office? Or do you know someone who does? Please contact us at 254-749-5839 or you can email us at mcpi at live.com.